Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Kepler's First Law. This is going to be a short video. There's not much to say about Kepler's First Law, but here it is. Every planet has an elliptical orbit around the Sun, with the Sun as one of the foci. So, what does this mean? So many times when we think about the orbit around the Sun, we think of it as a perfect circle. And that's technically not true. The path is actually elliptical, meaning it's like a, kind of like an oval, I guess you could say. Now this is a little bit exaggerated just for the point of demonstrating the point, but we're going to use this picture for now. So every ellipse has two points called the foci. The singular is focus, so one focus over here, one focus over here, two foci together. And there's a special property about the focus. And I'm not going to mention what that special property is because it's not important right now. But we need to know that one of the focuses, or one of the foci, is the sun. And the other is nothing. It's like empty space. There's nothing there at the other focus. So in other words, I can kind of just erase it because nothing's there. And now if I picture the Earth as a planet, of course, going around the sun, it's going to follow the dotted path. And so as you can see, sometimes the Earth is going to be closer to the sun, which actually is when the summer months are in the northern hemisphere. And one of the reasons for that is because the earth is closer to the sun, the weather is warmer. And then way over here in the winter, the earth is farthest from the sun, and so it is colder, again, in the northern hemisphere. But I'm not going to explain the hemisphere difference in this video. And that's basically it for Kepler's first law. One thing you should know is that for any ellipse, we have some terminology. For instance, the longest side, or I guess you can say the longest diameter, is called the major axis. And then the smaller diameter going the other way is referred to as the minor axis. And a lot of times you'll hear something about the semi-major axis or the semi-minor axis. And that's just equal to one half times the major axis in other words, you can kind of think of it as the radius. And so for this picture, the semi-major axis is here in blue. Technically, I could have chose the other one, but it doesn't matter. And then the semi-minor axis I'll draw in green. Again, it doesn't matter which one I draw. It's just half of the total minor axis. And again, I'm not even talking about equations with this. I'm just saying terminology. This is what it's called. Remember that the sun is not in the middle here. It's actually somewhere over here where the focus is, off center. And as I said earlier, I drew an exaggerated picture for this elliptical orbit. The true elliptical orbit for the Earth, let me just make a circle for comparison. So the actual elliptical orbit is probably something like this. Like it's just barely stretched out a little bit. But again, that means the focus if this is the center in black, it means the focus, the sun, is just a little bit off center. And that's all I have to say about Kepler's first law. So if you can know the definition and some of the terminology for ellipses, you're going to be good to go. So thank you all for watching. I've got two more videos coming up for Kepler's second law and the third law. So stay tuned for those. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.